You'll want to grab yourself a nice cup of hot coffee this morning. It's going to be a chilly one out there. We'll see you here right after the break. Perfect time to go ahead and take your dog for a walk. And if you don't have one, we have one for you right here. We have Loki from the <laughs> Shemung SPCA in the upper 40s in the northern tier, about 49 in Westfield, 49 down in Liberty, 56 in Elmira. But it feels a bit cooler as those dew points are low tonight for the Big Flats community days. We're looking at temperatures near 67 by 9 p.m. A great night to be out and about enjoying your Friday night. Look at these temperature trend today is going to be near 88 tomorrow 92 a nice hot dog day of summer ahead of us similar conditions for your thursday with a high near 90 84 83 85 going into the upcoming weekend finally those temperatures start to break a little bit we are keeping our eye on another tropical storm right now. We have tropical storm Henri off the Atlantic coast and it will be continuing to push off towards the north and the west. And as we go into your Saturday morning by Saturday at 2 a.m. We are off the coast of the Carolinas and then it continues to track up towards the north. Happy fall today marks the official start of fall around 3.20 p.m. today. We'll be at that equinox. We're looking at equal parts day as equal parts night. That sun is right over the equator, giving us some equal daylight ahead. Let's take a look at those chances of rain to see if we can have any outdoor activities for today and tomorrow. Today we are mostly dry out there, cloudy conditions, with the chance of a few isolated showers pushing on through. Tomorrow, similar conditions, a bit more sunshine tomorrow, with the chance of a few isolated thunderstorms, but not a washout by any means. Outdoor activities are okay to have on tap and welcome back from the break if you're just waking up here's a picture of elk Glen and the flooding that there was there last night sent in from a viewer very impressive rainfall totals out there and you can take another look at it from the sky view now here's another picture in elk Glen. a lot of rain overnight many areas are in a state of emergency this morning and people are being evacuated evacuated because of all the rainfall now let's take a look what is happening down in the gulf we have hurricane ida which is currently a category two hurricane and it's heading towards the coast of Louisiana straight towards New Orleans. We saw a few showers out there this morning and some thunderstorms roll through. Now we're looking at some cloudy conditions out there. Believe it or not, this is one of the sky cams. Looks almost like we are in the cloud out there on the Mansfield sky cam. Temperatures right now are at about 63 in Elmira, 62 over in Danville, a little bit cooler in Wellsboro, around 57. We do have the potential of a few isolated showers pushing on through, but not a washout by any means. We have some pretty low moisture in the area, so it won't be any really heavy rainfall, just some light showers pushing on through. So let's take a look at that satellite and radar for you, and you can see the decent cloud coverage that we have out there, especially down in the northern tier, and now those showers are well off towards our east. We're just looking at some cloudy conditions, but we do have some sunshine that'll start to poke on through later this afternoon. Fortunately, today we're staying mainly dry, but tomorrow that low pressure system starts to push into our region. We're looking at a very long extending cold front making its way into our area as well, bringing quite a few showers throughout the day for your Wednesday and then heavy rainfall for your Thursday. We're really looking at that rainfall picking up here in the Twin Tiers and the Finger Lakes region. We already have a flash flood watch in effect starting around 4 p.m. today until 4 p.m. tomorrow. Now that's in the northern tier right now about in Tioga County and over in Potter County and we do expect a few more watches to be issued as these showers continue to approach our region. Now if you didn't get a chance to mow your lawn one last time this weekend we're looking a bit better this week around Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Maybe dry conditions out there so some really good weather to get out there and get that last mow of the season in. Take a look at this destruction from a tornado that hit with Ida and Mulca Hill New Jersey. Now yesterday it was classified as an EF3 by the National Weather Service. The winds were spinning at a rotational speed of 150 miles an hour. Now this tornado stretched for 12.6 miles. 